TXD Studio CT Spreadsheet application. Let's just click on the file menu and choose the spreadsheet application. There it is. So you don't get a whole pile of cells that you don't need, the hint here is to click on the spreadsheet button and drag out the number of cells that you need. Now this software has some very clever features. For instance, if I typed in Wednesday and I dragged down from Wednesday, it knows that we're using days of the week and puts in the rest of the days in our column. It's a fabulous way of introducing spreadsheets to children. Let's think of a scenario here. We'll pretend that it's nearly lunchtime and that we want to record what the class is having for lunch today. I'll make a column called lunch and then one to record the number of children having a particular lunch type. Let's say who is having sandwiches, who is going home and who's having a cooked meal for instance. Now we can record the numbers for each of the lunch types in the second column of our spreadsheet. I may like to add another row to my spreadsheet to record the totals. I highlight the columns that I want to add up and click on the sigma symbol to show the total. Now I might like to use the software to present this information in a graph. I'll highlight the columns that I want to be in the graph and click on the chart button. I'm able to select the type of graph that I want and how I would like it to be presented. Because I'm using TextEase, I can easily make changes to the text or size and shape of my objects. Another neat thing that TextEase allows me to do is to hold down the control key and click on the chart and drag another copy of the graph. I can then use the copy to make further changes such as changing it into a pie chart. Now I have two graphical representations of the same data on the same page at the same time. Going back to my original data in the original spreadsheet as I've done here, I can make changes and the charts that I've created reflects the data's changes straight away. I can do some other clever things with the database package. For instance, if I select the spreadsheet and go to the effects button and the cells tab, I can remove the cell labels from around the edge to make it all look a bit tidier. Another thing I could do if I wished is I could go to the file and page setup and select a different paper colour and then I could click the F5 key and now it's in presentation mode and looking very professional. And this is because I'm using TextEase and because I'm using TextEase I can add objects from other applications to my page. The TextEase spreadsheet application also does all of the calculations etc that you would expect in a spreadsheet program but this is just a really simple example of how you can get started with it. Enjoy!